pointed out that I did not finish answering this question. I did not make what's called a reaction energy diagram. A reaction energy diagram for this process uh, will look like this. So just like it says, uh, we will make a uh, graph or a diagram with potential energy or potential energy, which is PE on the y-axis and reaction progress on the x-axis. And for this reaction, we came up with that delta H reaction was minus 1,036 kilojoules per mole. That is a highly exothermic reaction. And this is going to be a reaction energy diagram for an exothermic reaction. Diagram. Uh, for exothermic reaction. And uh, the reaction gives off energy as it converts reactants into products. What that means is that the reactants have to have higher potential energy than the products. And so I'm going to put my reactants here and my products down here. And I should actually write my reactants up here, so I will. 2H2S plus 3O2. And I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, that says 2H2S plus 3O2. And, but typically it's the reactants. And the products down here will be 2H2O uh, plus 2SO2. And... As we move in our calculation, remember, from products to reactants, we can think that we're taking a smaller number and subtracting off a larger number, for, and that's how we get this negative number. And all this is to say is that uh, we start with uh, reactants that have higher potential energy, and we end with products that have lower potential energy. And the difference is delta H reaction. So the difference in energy released is the difference in potential energy of the reactants versus products. And the uh, it says label delta H reaction. Delta H reaction is always the difference between products and reactants. Label reactants and label products on each diagram. So Daryl, that's how you do this one. I can't remember if there are any endothermic reaction energy diagrams, but let me sketch one of those for you as well. I'll do it on the back of this piece of paper. So this is for an endothermic reaction. The axes are the same. And, uh, but what happens is for an endothermic reaction, so delta H is greater than zero, and delta H greater than zero means that the products minus the reactants must be a positive number, and so my reactants are down here, and my products are up top. And then the difference is delta H reaction. And again, just to, to say this again, whenever we calculate delta H reaction, it's always products minus reactants. A bigger number minus a smaller number will be positive. So, and I think that's what I wanted to say about this. Any questions? And thank you for reminding me that I needed to do this. I will append this video